guys, so today I am so excited because I get to show you this new baby from It's a Wig brought to you by Elevate Styles. Um, sorry about this view I got going on. I was in Indy finishing out my um, internship and for those of you guys who didn't know, um, I was the social media intern for Midwest Fashion Week, so I had to go to the event this weekend. I couldn't make any of the other events during the week because of school, so um, I went to the last event on Sunday and I bought my camera and I do this thing where I don't take like the tripod piece that connects to your camera. Like I don't take it off of my camera. So I brought it to the venue and I accidentally like left it at the venue or I left it in my car and I don't have my car with me. So yeah, I have this concoction on my um, little dresser. I have a very exciting review. So before I say anything else, Shout outs to Elevate Styles. A woman named Minnie saw my review on Breezy and she wanted me to do a review on one of their new synthetic Swiss lace wig products. And it's from It's a Wig. And it's their new Swiss lace front wig. And this is in the style Ascana. And it's the color TT30. I love this wig so much. Usually when I get synthetic wigs with like the lace front part, they always look really wiggy on me. I don't know why, but they always do. And this looks really good. Like it doesn't look natural, which is fine for me. It just looks like a really good weave. It looks like a nice laid out sew in. And that's what I want my wigs to look like. So I actually love the two tones of this wig and I absolutely, absolutely love the texture of the hair. It's perfect. It's fairly soft for a synthetic wig. It's thick and it's thicker at the top than it is in the back. So it gets that nice full bumped up look. It does have a bit of a coarser feel to the hair, which I really actually like because it doesn't look like plastic and the curls are super nice and this is how they've fallen from yesterday which is still pretty awesome when i first opened the wig i noticed that the curls were way tighter than they were presented on the model and i like that they were tighter because the curls did fall and they're slowly falling into that type of look um i do think that with proper care of this wig the curls aren't gonna just straight up you know fall and <laughs> be straight the two tones of this wig is so bomb like I was so impressed when I put on the wig because when I opened it and took it out of the package I was like oh this looks a little you know fake but once I put it on it looks awesome. It's a 1B at the top and then it fades into like a 2 and then it's a nice honey blonde color at the end. So this is the part of the wig which looks so awesome, right? I actually took a eyebrow archer, you know the eyebrow razor. I did not have any tweezers and I just went down this line and you know started from the left, took my tweezer down and shaved some of this part away and did the same on the right to widen the part just a tad bit to give it more of a natural look. This is the hairline. I don't leave any of my hair out. So if you're a person who can blend your edges in with this wig, you'll be like legit perfectly set. So I cut the lace. It came with about two inches of lace. And then, oh, you can't see the back. <laughs> But um, yeah, the hairline is um, pretty natural and I just sit it right on top of my hairline and push it back just a bit and I put some gel on my edges to help them lay down. 
This wig is a pretty good size. It fits my head close to perfect. And it's really comfortable. The Swiss lace is actually around the front and it looks like this. This Swiss lace makes the wig feel wigless. Like it does not feel like I have a wig on my hair right now. It feels like so breezy. It's so comfy. Now as far as the lace, after wearing this wig and looking at some of the other synthetic wigs that I own, I noticed that this lace is a lot more soft and flexible than a lot of the lace that's on other synthetic wigs if you know what I mean and the part looks super awesome and you can actually change the part if you want it which is super cool you would obviously have to wet it and then part it and you know train it to go an opposite way but when I have a wig I literally just shift it from left to right to get you know my perfect fit so if I want a middle part I'll just move it over the part goes way back here which is so awesome Awesome because a lot of times when you get synthetic wig the part would stop like right there and it'll look so unnatural so this gives you a lot of parting room and it's super like an A plus that you can part it anywhere you want <laughs> So now I'm going to do the iron friendly test and I'm sure we all know about these tests my theory is your hair will not melt up to 400 degrees heat. I don't think they mean you can style your hair however you want, like curl it with heat and stuff like that. So we're about to see. So it says you can go to 350 all the way up to 400. I have it on 356. This feels really hot. So I'm actually going to take it down to 320 and I'm gonna take a piece from the back because if it doesn't curl and it's in the front that's gonna be a problem and I'm just going to put it around my iron I'm gonna hold it for a couple of seconds now I'm gonna hold that curl I honestly think it unraveled like right when I took it away so that's the piece right there let me give it one more go do it a bit tighter so I definitely don't think you should like if you get this, you should iron your hair, period. Yeah, so. As you can see, that was the heat test. Let me wrap it around my fingers and let it dry. I mean, cool off. <laughs> so, yeah. The hair did not melt, so it passed the heat test. And I tested my theory, and that is what the theory means. Your hair can last up to 400 heat, but you cannot curl your hair with 400 heat. So, yeah, this is Esconda from It's a Wig, brought to us by Elevate Styles. I have to go run and get some food because the cafeteria is about to close. Um, peace and I love y'all.